Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kehoke of Dr. Kehoke Salmon Charters and Video. On those small fish, it's important that you use barbless hooks and don't grab the small fish by his scale. And when putting your line out, it's important to keep the rod tight so that when these little fish get on your line, you're not dragging them and drowning them. It's not helping our fishery by dragging these small fish simply because you can't tell that they're on. And the way that you make sure that you know the, how they're biting is the way that you set up your downrigger. Remember, sharp hooks, <laughs> strong leaders, and sticky sharp to your nail. I'm using 40 inches a liter. I'm using the hammered flasher, the mag 20 with positive ion control. This downrigger is made by Canon. You see how tight that I'm keeping that line? If you don't, and you let the line run free when you're dropping your weight, this is what will happen. It'll go over the top of your rotating flasher or your cut plug herring that you're trolling because you're not keeping the line tight enough when you're letting the weight out to get to the desired depth. And so this is a great shot showing you the mistake most of the fishermen make when they're downrigger fishing. Oh, they just don't keep the rod tip tight enough to keep the line from going over the gear when they're trolling. You always want to check your gear just under the surface. Fast, snappy action on those big flashers. And that'll tell you everything, like in this shot here. Now we have multiple downriggers going and we, you can see that we have two sets of gear on two separate downriggers and there's a small fish that is called a shaker and we get that off and back down we go now you notice how fast that that rotating flasher is twisting that's really important especially if you're looking for really nice fish over these flats these sandy areas in 300 foot of bottom depth out there in the straits off of the Pillar Point up to CQ, the Hoko, all of those areas. There's one particular thing that I want to share with you though is called the surge. It's a wave of current of water that runs generally in the Straits of Juan de Fuca, moves from the west to the east. And as you troll, you'll notice that your boat all of a sudden accelerates. And I think this is a great way to explain it. Now watch the spoon. See how fast it moved? That's because the surge has moved your boat faster. Now it slowed down. Now it's fast again. And that surge is every few moments. You're slow and then you're fast. You're slow, then you're fast. The point that I'm trying to make here is go across the surge not put the surge to your back because the fish they get excited they come for it but they really have a trouble staying with the smooth spin because of the action. Old herring, last fish of the day. Dr. T. Hokies.